What's happening everyone? It is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at the new music app inside of iOS 10 on the iPhone. iOS 10 brings a ton of new features including a wholly new revamped music application. When Apple Music was launched, it was a bit confusing, especially in the native app. So Apple has reworked it from the ground up, making some pretty big changes and new enhancements to make it a lot better. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing up is there is a new widget on the icon. So if you have a newer phone and can use 3D Touch, you'll see a few options like Search and Play Beats 1, as well as some recent music down here below. Widgets, of course, is not a wholly new thing for just music. It's on several icons, but that's a story for a different video. Now, inside of the music app, the first tab has now became the library tab. For You has now been moved over to the second position. This is any of Apple Music's recommendations. You do have to be a subscriber for that to be here. And this is also where the Apple Music Connect feature has been moved to. The third tab over is Browse, where you can see a lot of different new music and curated playlists from the iTunes and Apple Music editors. Browse and For You are two great ways to discover music. For You are obviously ones that are tailor-fitted for you, and then Browse, you can see a lot of different curations like the Disney Music Group and see what music that they recommend. The next tab is Radio. This actually replaces the that iTunes or Apple Music Connect, which has been kind of still there. The service is still there inside of uh, for you, but it's no longer an actual tab. What's really nice inside of radio is you can look at all the different stations that there used to be and just the iTunes radio that they used to have, but also you can see all the different Beats shows. So if I hit Explore Beats 1, I can see all the, you know, the live music now as well as all the upcoming shows and the different anchors and other shows they have. So if I want to look at Elton John's Rocket Hour, I can actually go back and play his other music or other shows on demand. So that is a really awesome feature if you ever do miss any of these shows live. And the last tab is search, it allows you to actually just search both Apple Music as well as your local library. So I think the big emphasis here is making a clear split between the Apple Music things with radio and for you and your actual library, which is now its own tab. So now let's take a look at the now playing screen. So I'll play Maybe I'm Maze by Paul McCartney. And if we now scroll up on this now playing screen, I can view up next as well as lyrics. Lyrics is a new feature and it's supported automatically on any Apple Music tracks, but it'll all work on your own personal tracks if you add them manually. So if you have an application or you manually add them, those will still show up. If you hit that little dot, dot, dot and the more icon, it'll allow you to automatically view the lyrics. You can like or dislike a song. You can add it to a playlist, remove it from a playlist, and if you tap on the actual album artwork at the top, it'll take you to the album. It did navigate me there. If I close the now playing, I can see I've been navigated to the album. However, I was there to begin with. So overall, there are a lot of great features in iOS 10. I'm really loving it so far. And the changes to Apple Music are fantastic. I really like they've split out my own personal music from the actual Apple Music service. That makes it a lot easier to listen to the content that I want to listen to. If you have any questions about Apple Music or iOS 10 in general, let us know down in the comments and check out all of our other videos on Apple's new OS's to debut this fall. Please go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.